Hello, I'm Eileen Holman, proprietor of New World Textiles, and today we're going to do some little sample dyeing with the Dyelicious Cotton. So, um, I have some of the cotton in a bowl here soaking, and one thing you need to know about dyeing cotton is that if your, if your cotton doesn't sink in a bowl of water, it's not ready to dye. So this has been soaking for a while, and I'm just going to pull some little strips out and um, get them ready to put into these little jars of water. So I'm just going to pick three, um, three pieces here. Now I've chosen three dyes here that I've already um, made into liquid form. One of them is cochineal, which is a natural dye, and um, I'm just going to squirt some in the water here. And then I'll uh, stir it around a little bit. And put my fabric in. And I'll just let that sit for a few minutes. Um, these are food colorings, and I'm just going to pick um, this kind of a chartreuse color. And you don't need very much food coloring uh, to, dye, to dye the fabric. So for those of you who are dyers, um, food coloring is an acid dye, and normally acid dyes do not take on cotton. But uh, the treatment of this particular cotton allows it to accept acid dyes. Okay, and then this one is a Procyon mixture of an um, orangey color. Uh, it's a blend of... Um, red and yellow, and I'm going to put a lot of it in there. And I'll take one more little piece. And put it in there. Okay, I'm just going to let those soak for a little while. If you have not seen my earlier video, on uh, just an introduction to cotton, let me reintroduce you to the Dylicious fabric. I'm offering right now four fabrics, and the fabrics are a combination of a treated cotton and an untreated cotton. And I have a semi solid, a half tone, a stripe, and a shaded stripe. And the difference between these fabrics is that the colored stripe accepts the dye, and this is an untreated white cotton in here that does not accept the dye. So these are what the fabrics look like uh, that you will buy from the store, and these are the patterns that you will get from those. So you only need um, hot water uh, with these. You don't need any extra chemicals because those are already in the cotton. So um, this is the, we're already starting to see a little bit of the, the pink and the striping in the cochineal. Um, it takes maybe uh, 15 minutes with really hot water. We're starting to see the yellow come out in there. And we're starting to see the peach color coming out in the, um, in the Procyon. I am a weaver, I'm a spinner and a weaver and a natural dyer, and I uh, wove some little pieces, and um, I have, I wove this with the Dylicious cotton in one direction and white cotton in another, and it just looks like a little white piece of fabric, but if I put one of those in there, and I put another one, in there. And the third one in here. You'll start to see the colors expressing in one area and not in another. One other thing with using um, the food coloring is that um, although it's not a great dye and you won't want to do a large project with it, you won't want to make clothing, for example, 
Um, it's a fun thing to do with children, and it's very safe. Um, the food colors are already liquid, so you don't even have uh, powders to breathe. So it's um, what I think is a, a good way to introduce children to dyeing on cotton. Okay, so if I take this out now, we have pink stripes. And I could leave it in longer to get a darker color. So this one is the small stripe. The yellow one is the semi-solid. And this one is the half tone. These may have been in here long enough. I'll go ahead and take those out. And you can see here the little pattern. Okay. And this peach color. Okay, so there they all are. And now what we want to do is uh, rinse them. So uh, they require very little rinsing. I have this bowl here that's a clear bowl, clear plastic bowl, so that you can see that I'm rinsing it in here and no color is coming out. Okay, so that's the pink again. Do the yellow in the same rinse water. And then the orange. That is the simplicity of dyeing with dilicious cotton. I hope you try it soon. So as a hand weaver, um, I made yarn and um, I'm using the yarn in combination with organic cotton. And the organic cotton has not been treated. So this is what the fabric looks like coming off the loom. And I put on a long warp so that I could do um, many napkins. And um, after I took them off the loom, then I finished them and dyed them. So I did one in yellow and one in red and one in green and one in blue. So this is the traditional log cabin pattern. It's probably easiest to see on the red so that you have got red and white stripes going vertically and then horizontally and just separated with the black. I also did this other piece that is the dilicious cotton in the warp and organic cotton in the weft. I did um, one in this color and the uh, back is the reverse. I did a yellow one and I did a blue one. So the sky is the limit with what you can do with the yarns yourself. Um, if you want to buy the fabrics, then the fabrics come in these um, solid, semi-solid, um, half-tone stripe and the shaded stripe.